Welcome inside the Gridiron Now studios. I'm Amanda Borges here with Frank Frangi. The Bulldogs will play in Jacksonville against Penn State. How will they do under interim head coach Brian McClendon? You know, it's really interesting if you think about this. Number one, when is the last time Georgia fans have gotten ready for a football game that Mark Rick didn't coach? Well, you know the answer is 15 years. I don't know if the players are quite sure how to do that. Now, McClendon's a good guy. They trust him. They like him. But whether or not they're as ready, we will see. But they better play hard because a lot of those guys are auditioning for Kirby Smart. Kirby's not coaching them, but Kirby's watching them. And a lot of those guys know they're auditioning for a job. The guys that are coming out are auditioning for the NFL. So I think they will play well. But to say it'll be, they'll be in rhythm and there will be great chemistry, I don't believe that necessarily. I think each individual guy has to play as hard as he can and see what happens. I don't know. It's going to be an interesting matchup seeing the Georgia Bulldogs play under somebody other than Mark Rick for the first time. How do the dogs match up against Penn State? They've got more good players than Penn State, but Penn State's got all their coaches, right? Penn State, uh, James Franklin's done a nice job with that team. They're coming. It's taken longer than he thought it would take, but they're coming. So they've got their offense. They've got their defense. They've got their coaches. They're going to be in rhythm. Georgia has more good players than Penn State. Georgia should have done better than they did last year, this year. They should have won more games than they wound up winning. So they've got more good players than Penn State. Penn State, though, knows what it's doing. There's no distractions there. That makes it a pretty even game. Well, when you put both teams next to each other, who is this game more important for? You know what's funny you said that. I think in terms of individual players, it's important for everybody. As I said a moment ago, guys are auditioning for a job under Kirby Smart. But for the program, it's more important for Penn State. If Georgia loses this game, no, it has no effect on the direction of the program because the program's starting over with Kirby Smart, right? Penn State is trying to get there. It's his second year under Franklin now. They're trying to get there. They're trying to get there. So Penn State needs to win the game to show that they're moving along, that they're heading in the right direction. For the program, way more important game for Penn State than Georgia. What are the keys to this game for Georgia? I think Georgia somehow has got to do something at quarterback. Grayson Lambert's got to play well in this game. Georgia, at the, end, the, the Big Ten is a run it league and grind it out. People don't throw well. That means they don't defend the pass as well. Georgia has to throw the football well. Malcolm Mitchell's got to be involved. I think he's the best player on their football team. Got to be involved. The passing game wins the game. Well, Georgia and Penn State will kick off at noon on January 2nd at Everbank Field. For more on the SEC, check out gridironnow.com.